All right. Hello? Hey, Joe. Hey there. How's it going? Oh, it's going well, man. I just want to let you know that I'm a fan of all three of you. Yes. Oh, awesome. it, What's your name? It was all the time. What's your name? Actually, this, this is kind of a question for Chana, because I know he got a Denon 6700 at one point in time. Yeah, I still have it. Okay, I got a question. When you put it in preamp mode under mm -hmm. Ampersign, yep. are you able to uh, access anything from Odyssey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You can, re you you can rerun great. Odyssey. You can go change it from reference to flat to whatever. It, it, my my settings for Odyssey go go get grayed out when I go into the menu screen when I've got it in preamp mode. Oh, okay. I think I know what's happening. Does does he have it in a in a layout, Chana, that doesn't uh, allow something, or what do you think? Well, that's just Odyssey, though. It's turned oh, off. Just... I've I've had that happen with mine before, and I don't know what Wait. triggered it. Um, uh -huh. Odyssey. I you know I'd run Odyssey, and then one day I was just in the menu, and I'm like. Well, that's weird. Odyssey's grayed out. It's like I can't turn it on or off or change it. The only so, time right. that happened to me, have you ever seen that happen? Rants. Yeah, that's happened to me once, and that was before I ran it, so I couldn't yeah, go in and that, change any parameters. Yeah, that ma that makes sense. But I mean, right? this was after I'd already run it. Mm. Okay, so here here's the deal: if you run Odyssey calibration, and then you right. change the layout. Right. Okay, that makes you sense. The layout, then want, then, yeah, then it makes you want to do it again. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it may not have the calibration. Let's say if you have a, a layout where it added a different speaker, what well, it doesn't have a calibration for that, so you can't mm -hmm. turn on Odyssey. So if he turns okay. it back, I understand what you're saying mm -hmm. perfectly. Yeah. Uh, what I did is I reset the receiver today back to uh, factory to, uh, factory settings, mm -hmm. right. and I started from scratch. And because uh, I noticed this yesterday, and so I started from scratch again today. And I've got a 7.2.4 setup. I'm running uh, all Ravel on ear Ooh, level. Ooh, okay. All right. And SBS, you caught my attention. SBS, and I'm using SBS as uh, prime elevations as my Atmos. Uh, I've got two um, two Emotiva amps that I'm using. And um, so anyway, you know, I, I go into preamp and... Uh, and what it was doing is like I, I would listen to it in preamp, and then the next day I'd wake up. It wouldn't stay in preamp. It would go. It would go back to eleven channel. It wouldn't stay. Mm. Oh, that's so, weird. I've seen something kind of like that before. Yeah. And another issue I'm having with that model, um, uh, I'm trying to uh, set my level for each speaker, and I'm using the SPL meter, and my test tone will only last for maybe like five seconds, and then go back to the previous menu. Oh, that's weird. Mm. That's that, weird. Yeah, it's usually some like weird a, stuff going on there. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to take that back and get it replaced. Yeah. But I was just curious. I, I just thought maybe because I knew Chana just recently got a hold of one, and I didn't know if uh, he had ran into the same issue as I am. Yeah, those are those are very weird is issues, especially the one where it won't uh, maintain the test tone. Right. Maybe it's like maybe there's some wires that are crossed up there where it's, you know, when the tone comes out, it's... Uh, Saying, hey, we don't like what's happening here. And maybe it goes yeah, into some kind well, of safety. I've, I've got, I mean, I've got really good cables and everything, you mm -hmm. know, and so I don't know anything that could be crossed, you oh. know, and uh, and I've got, you know, and I just bought the Rebel speakers pretty recently, probably about three weeks ago, and I'm digging them. And that's another thing. I've never seen any of you guys do a review on Rebel speakers. Oh, oh dude, I can't, get, I can't get my hands oh, on them, bro. Yeah, you no, kidding me? Really? Yeah, I, don't have, yeah. I don't have a contact for them. Yeah, I don't have a contact for them. And I, like, dude, I spent six thousand dollars on receivers last year. I'm not. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, I just haven't it. tried. It's a a lot of yeah. times we just get a bunch of stuff sent to us. So it's then like our queue is so crazy. Like I don't want to. I don't go out of my way to like search for more stuff. It just keeps I, I arriving. Get it, I get it. But I, I was just I was just kind of curious because uh, when I was researching for for replacing my ear level speakers mm -hmm. you know i um i went to this one one place it's called nebraska furniture mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah we've heard them and uh yeah. you know that even the f-35s and the f-36s they blew me away i liked them better than the uh the motion uh the motion uh martin logan martin logan's mm -hmm. you yeah. know and they were significantly cheaper but i mean they were just really good speakers for the price i believe mm -hmm. that now, uh, so, when you do the these test tones, is it for any speaker that where it turns off, or is it a specific speaker? 
No, every speaker. Nah, that's huh. yeah. that's weird. That's weird because it should just stay on the whole time. You're that speaker yeah, selected. That's too, you know, and it's like ah, uh, there's got to be an issue in there somewhere. Uh, I know they just did a, a firmware update within the past week, ten days or something like that. And um, another thing that's going on too is I'm using a uh, oh, what are those? Kind of like an iPad, but you get them from Amazon. What are they called? Not yeah, Amazon Fire. Stuff. Yeah. Fire. Yeah, fire tablet, yeah. So I loaded the Denon app onto it, and everything was fine on it. And, uh, you know, it would show all my speakers and everything. And everything, it was great. Yeah. And so uh, until all this stuff started happening, when I go into the app on the on the Fire, uh, it only shows me a, a, a 5.2.4 max. And mm-hmm. it's like, that, that, something's, something's not right. Something's up with that, yeah. You know, uh, of course, um, I don't know if you tried just doing a factory reset. but Yeah, he said he did. He said oh, he did. you did already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did that today. That was the first thing you did. And obviously did everything, you know, and it, I'm into the same problem. Damn. Mm-hmm. Are, you, like are you past your, like, return exchange point with uh, whoever you bought no, from? No, no. Actually, I got a couple more years on it. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, actually, I, mean, I stopped at where I bought it today. And I asked them about it, and uh, the salesman I was talking to says, "Yeah, I've had a, a couple other people uh, have some issues." And he was he was thinking that it was the firmware. So uh, just like um, I told Joe earlier, I, I factory resetted everything. It started from scratch, and it's just yeah. uh, it's not cooperating. So one uh, question I have for you is: Do you use the um, just the mic itself, or do you use like the Odyssey app? No, I use the mic. I use okay. the mic, you know, with, you know, with, uh, well, with the internal amp, uh, app on the, uh, right. Just built player. into, yeah. Plus on my iPhone as well. Yeah. So, uh, so, so one I, thing that's nice about the app is that you can actually uh, save that as kind of like a, not a preset, but basically yeah. like a, yeah. And so you, if that happened, you could always reload that instead of having to rerun everything again. No. Right, right. Yeah. But I just thought for you know to be safe today, I just thought I'd factory yeah. reset it and sure. start from scratch. Yeah, you know, uh, I guess before you send it in, the last thing I would probably try is factory reset. Make sure nothing yep. is connected to the back of that thing, and then go into uh, that um, that menu and try to do a test tone. Uh, if it kicks you out of that, uh, all right, then then, then it's something wrong with the that's unit. That's very weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So with mm-hmm. nothing connected to the back, also. So just look at the, main, the you know, the on-screen uh, LED or, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Get it. I get it. I get it. I'll, I'll, I'll try that. Uh, but uh, I'm going to let you guys go. But Joe, I'm going to look into your uh, magical beans. Yeah. Comments. Yeah, right. for sure. And Dude, make, you need sure to do call, that. Call yeah. me once That's... your thing is working because that'll drive me nuts if I go in and I, you know, it's not doing what you want. Yeah. Cause, and then you got to, you got to, it's, it's also not cheap. You got to, yeah, you know, we want to make sure it's working. Yeah, so make sure it all works first. <laughs> I've already invested some kid ducats into my system now. So uh, <laughs> you're hey, like, it's all good. It's honestly, all good. Let's go for broke. <laughs> it, it would be, it would be an honor exactly. just because uh, those are some excellent speakers. And of course, if you start off with very good speakers, like I was telling Chana with his focals, I'm like, if you're already starting off with really good speakers, yeah, it, 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 it you know, it's much easier. I would just say, or uh, yeah, just easier than, uh, when there's someone like, oh man, these are not very good speakers. Are you sure yeah. you don't? You sure you don't want to just buy some new speakers first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you're good. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. See, right the thing with is, is like, I, I seriously, you know, I, I, the bug hit me is when we were shut down. Yep. Um, you know, during you know during the onset of COVID, and I had all these extra speakers around the house, and I had all this time. I'm watching y'all's videos, <laughs> you know, and I'm hooking up speakers. My wife's going, what are you doing that for? You know, and so <laughs> so one day she sat and she listened to a movie and she goes, I understand now. Oh, you know, oh so did your like, job. That's cool, she's, man. She's yeah. okay with it, sort of. She's on board. <laughs> and if anybody's watching you guys, I highly suggest watching each and every one's videos. I mean, they're informative. Uh, some are funny and you guys are just great. You, you oh, guys thanks, really are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. It. Definitely All appreciate right. you. All right, guys. Have a good night. Hey, Take have care. a great one. You too. Take care.